quick one today. Just want to tell you about the most important thing that you can know about therapy, by which I mean, of course, psychotherapy, talk therapy. So there are a lot of things that people think are important about therapy. Uh, and it's not that they're not important. It's just that they're not the most important thing to consider when you start seeing a therapist. Uh, I'm going to tell you about the most important thing. But first, I'm going to tell you about the ones that aren't the most important that people think might be terrifically important. People think, one, what degree, PhD, MA, MSW, LCSW, whatever other letters, people think that might be really important. The research says, eh, not so important. LCSWs, PhDs, all licensed therapists seem to be about as competent as one another, as much as those of us who spent lots of time and money getting a PhD would like to think that we're better. Research doesn't really support that claim. Another thing that people think might be important about their therapist is, uh, and this might be more on an unconscious level, is that they might think that if the therapist is under demand and it's really hard to get an appointment with them, that they must be a really good therapist. <laughs> All that really means is, one, they've been around for a while, or, and or two, their marketing is really good. So that's not the most important thing. Uh, and uh, experience is important. Uh, it's research shows that experience of the therapist is actually important and it does correlate with how competent uh, the therapist is likely to be, but it's not the most important thing. I said I was going to be brief today, so let me get to the most important thing. The research, the scientific research that has accumulated over the past, oh, I don't know, 50 years about psychotherapy, is that the so-called treatment alliance, the treatment alliance, whether you like your therapist, whether your therapist likes you, whether you have a good connection, whether you feel confident in working together, whether you see things the same way, whether you see eye to eye, uh, all of these things and others add up to form this treatment alliance, this therapeutic alliance. And the good news is that your gut sense of this by the end of the first session, certainly after two or three sessions, is probably accurate. And so if you feel like after one or two sessions, I or any other therapist is probably not getting you and you don't really like me or him or her very much, you probably should look for another therapist. That's what the research strongly suggests is the most important thing to consider. And that's good news because your gut is right underneath your rib cage and you can check your gut. And your gut will tell you, as I say, within one session, maybe two, maybe certainly no more than three, whether this feels right whether you have some confidence in the therapist, whether you feel like the therapist likes you, whether you like them, uh, and so forth. Sounds airy-fairy, isn't. So there it is. That's all I got for you today. And I think that this could save you a lot of time and hassle trying to do therapy with someone that you're, you're not connecting with and as, assuming that, well, you know, that they are a doctor, they are a PhD, or wow, they, they, they really seem very popular. People recommended them, they have testimonials and they have a really flashy website, or uh, they have this technique that's been written about in the papers and, you know, oh, oh, mindfulness or oh, NLP or whatever it is. It ain't those things. Hope you have a good experience with your therapy, no matter who you see.